All right, Dave, and with the coldest weather of the season moving in, snow removal crews are gearing up. And MoDOT will test a new technology to keep bridges ice-free without salt or chemicals. Fox 2's Rocky Madden is live in St. Charles to show us, Rock. Tom, we're on the riverfront, and it is raining here. Don't feel any ice pellets, anything like that. This, of course, is a brand-new ice rink they put in here. It's just beautiful when it's not raining. Come skating here. Miss uh, Missouri River just beyond here, a great view. And, of course, the old restaurants and shops on the historic Main Street here to eat at. But right now, not a good night for skating. You know, some people wish all these raindrops were snowflakes. I like a lot of snow. American snow and ice in Crestwood depends on winter to stay in business. Well, it's, it's everything. I mean, that's all we do is, is we specialize in, in uh, snow and ice removal. Nothing in the off-season, just snow and ice removal and salt sales during the winter. The company has about 30 contractors like Chris McLean. It means more presents for my kid. <laughs> Bigger and better presents. During the summer, some contractors are into landscaping, but when it gets cold, they get their greenbacks from the white stuff, and it seems they can't get enough of big snowfalls. One a week would be great. One snowstorm a week in St. Louis? I'd love it. Meanwhile, MoDOT is looking at new technology to keep bridges, ice, and snow free in the winter. They're working with a company called PaveGuard Technologies, which uses solar power to operate a system that heats the bridge decks and causes the snow and ice to melt. They plan to begin installing it on two test bridges in western Missouri next year. The water and chemicals that fight snow are the worst enemies for our bridges. So if we can find a cost-effective way to keep snow and ice off the bridges without using the water and chemicals, it will help lengthen the life of our bridges. Now back here live in a cold and rainy St. Charles. On warm sunny days, MoDOT would like to sell the extra energy created by solar power back to the local utility. As for tonight, MoDOT says they are keeping a close eye on the weather, and if needed, they'll get those salt trucks ready. They are ready already, but they'll put them on the road. MoDOT has 40,000 tons of salt ready for the winter. Reporting live here in St. Charles, Rocky Madden, Fox.